Good morning. Uh, today we're going to uh, solve a related rates problem with calculus one, and I'll read the problem first. And uh, it's going to correspond to this picture I have driven, dr driven, drawn. Uh, Anyway, the, the problem states, a man on a dock is pulling in a boat by means of a rope attached to the bow of the boat that is one meter above water level and passing through a simple pulley located on the dock eight meters above water level. And this is what I have. I have the boat, the bow of the boat sitting one meter above water level. The man, the boat, the rope is coming in on top of the pulley. It's corresponding to his hand there is eight meters above the water level. Um, and then the rest of the question states, if he pulls in the rope at a rate of two meters per second, how fast is the boat approaching the dock when the bow of the boat is 25 meters from a point that is directly below the pulley? So we'll start off by usually we will like an equation and we'll label some sides in order to get that in a second. And then we like to state what we're given and then we like to state what we want to find and then it kind of is a little way, you don't have to do that, but it, it kind of, the equation is pretty necessary. Uh, it kind of gives you a little way to organize your work. So the first thing that I kind of notice about this is um, what they're asking me is they're asking me at what rate is this distance right here between, uh, and it's directly below the pulley, so that's a right triangle. That should be a clue as to an equation that we're going to use once we label our sides. But uh, we want to know how fast is this distance changing when I'm changing this distance at a rate of two meters per second. Now this, uh, this distance right here is fixed. It's actually eight meters minus one meter, which is seven meters. So that's, a, that's actually a fixed distance. But the other distances, the, the distance from the bow of the boat to this point directly below the pulley, and the distance of this, the length of this rope that's uh, actually making the hypotenuse of this right triangle is uh, also changing. So let's just, let's label those sides. Um, what do you want to call them? We'll call uh, this distance X. A lot of people like that. Um, I'll call this, this distance, uh, what do we want to call it? I don't know. Let's call it Z. I, I like Z. So um, we have z. So now we have an equation. We can we can relate all three of these things together with the uh, Pythagorean theorem, and it's it would say that uh, x squared plus seven squared, which is forty nine, equals z squared, which is the length of the hypotenuse squared, the length of the this leg plus the squared plus the length of this leg squared equals the hypotenuse squared. So we have our equation and we only have two variables. That's good. Um, we don't have to solve for one in terms of the others if we had three. Anyway, so that's good. So now we know, want to know what we're given. Well, we're given that the length of z or the rope is changing at a rate. So dz dt, the the uh, rate of change of, of the distance z with respect to time is two meters per second. And the distance is uh, getting smaller so that we say that that rate is negative. So it's, it's decreasing at a rate of two meters per second. And what we want to find is we want to find the rate at which uh, the distance x is changing, the, the uh, distance from the uh, tip of the bow of the boat to this point directly below the pulley. So that's dx dt and at when um, when x distance is equal to this evaluation bar 25 meters. So that's our question. So really this, this problem at this point is now pretty straightforward. Uh, as long as you know the process, I guess, uh, that we're going to take this equ equation here, derive both sides implicitly uh, with respect to t, or derive both sides with respect to t, um, and then uh, solve for dx dt, get a value for x. Th th this is a little bit comes in handy. So anyway, we'll derive this with respect to t. Uh, the derivative of x squared with respect to t is 2x dx dt 
The derivative of 49 with respect to t is 0, so we won't even write it. And then the derivative of z squared with respect to t is 2z. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. 2z dz dt. Um, now I'm going to solve for what I want. Uh, I want dx dt, so I'm going to get dx dt equals um, the twos will will turn it uh, two over two is one. I'll get z over x times dz dt. I have a value for dz, and I I mean dz dt. I uh, have a value for x. It's x squared. I mean it's uh, 25 feet. And I just need a value for z, and I can solve this problem. Well, we can get our value for z by just solving for our, um, going back up into our equation with the Pythagorean theorem. And I'll just say that z equals the square root of uh, x squared, so it's 25 squared, uh, plus 49. And what do we have there? z equals the square root uh, 25 squared is 625. Let me get my little calculator here. And uh, 625 plus 49 is 674. And that is, oh, uh, that is not a perfect square. And let's even see 674. It doesn't, I don't think it has any perfect squares in it. I'm not going to really worry about that. Uh, square root of 674 uh, meters. Uh, so now I'll just plug those values in and solve for dx dt. So dx dt equals the square root of 674 uh, meters. Why not? Over 25 meters. They'll cancel. Times negative 2 meters per second. Um, so we have two square roots of 674 divided by 25 meters per second. Uh, why don't we get a decimal approximation of what that actually is? Uh, that would probably <laughs> make a little more sense. So two times the square root of 674 uh, divided by 25 is approximately 2.077 uh, negative actually forgot that negative on there negative 2.077 meters per second uh, he's probably pulling in that boat pretty quickly anyway that's it thanks